Hallelujah, everyone. How are you? You can be right about You good? All right. You know, in about 2005, this was that was what seven years ago. I met this this kid. His name is John, and John is an orphan. So he lived in an orphanage, and back then in 2005, I used to tutor in orphanages. So you know, whatever help they needed, I went there to try to tutor them. And so I met this kid by the name of John. Form three. Now, form three means 15 years old. And he was having trouble with something called fractions. What is fractions? 0 0.7, 0 0.8. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand where fractions come from. So you know, I was like, okay, well, let me try to explain it to you. So I tried to explain fractions to John by talking in form three math language and asking asking form three questions, but he can't answer. Then I tried asking for one question, maths questions, and he still can't answer me. So I was wondering, what does John actually know? So I asked him a very simple question. John, what is half is half? And he thought about it for a while. He looked at me and then he said, one on four. Okay, 15 year old, he doesn't know what half plus half is. Can you imagine what your life would be in school? Look, no wonder John doesn't like school. No wonder he doesn't want to go to school. You know, because every time he goes to school, he probably thinks he's stupid. Because all his friends know all his stuff, right? So, I was like, oh, jeez. So I took a newspaper, I rolled it up, and I said, John, how many newspapers is this? He said, one. Great. I'm going to tear it in half now. John, how many newspapers are there on my left hand? He said, half. Great. How many on my right hand? He said, Great! If I take half plus half and I put them back together again, what do you get? And suddenly you see this, you rip up one of them. You know, like, like okay, like, so drama, huh? So, you know, and, 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 and it, it looks as if life's mysteries has been lifted. And then I got angry. Not at John, but really, why didn't anybody do this for John? In the nine years he was at school. Nine years he was at school, and nobody actually helped him. And it, it brought me to this uh, memory I had about this, uh, this classmate I had in form three. I, I don't remember his name anymore. Um, is this uh, my classmate? And he couldn't read. My classmate couldn't read, right? And I was like, wow. Okay, so, so when, when all of us were looking at the blackboard, trying to copy whatever the teacher is writing, right? He's trying to do the same. But instead of copying whole sentences, he was copying everything letter by letter. And so he was really slow and stuff. And then I remembered something that I'm not very happy with. I looked back at this classmate of mine, and I realized I didn't do anything. None of my classmates did. Okay. Come back to John. After that day when I met John, and remember I used to choose the orphanage, so I used to go regularly. But after I met John, I did something that I was not proud of. I never went back to the orphanage again. I never saw John again. And I didn't want to. I, I, I felt, you know, John is so far lost, so far gone. How could I possibly help someone like you? And plus, John is just one guy, right? There's another hundreds of them in these orphanages. How do I expect to help all these guys? So with this hopelessness and helplessness, I ran. I never went back there again. I do not know what happened to John. Um, how many years has it been? Many, many years. I do not know. He's probably 22 years old now. I do not know what happened. All right? And you see, this is what's happening in our education system today. You find that in every school that there are now all the good students are all the front classes, right? All the good students are there. And all the bad students are bad, they're not really bad. Academically, not so good. They put in all these last classes. Right? And so if you do this to students, what happens is you get really good students in front and they all talk to each other, they all collaborate and do stuff together and in all the backward classes, they can't help each other. 
You see, if you're rich or if you're well-to-do, you have no problems. You go to tuition, right? Your parents, how many of you went for some sort of tuition before? Please raise your hands. Yeah, right. You know, most people in this room, if that's the only accommodation, yeah, most people for tuition. But what if your family isn't rich? What if they're not well-to-do? What happens? If you're poor, you go to school, if you get lost, that's it. I mean, you're lost off for one, you're lost off for two. You're totally gone in for three, and by four five, you drop out. Alright? Which is why we are putting, and you nation, we are putting the entire Malaysia school syllabus online. Everything. And if you're not from Malaysia, you know, don't worry, uh, I'm sure it will reach out very soon as well. Uh, so we're putting everything online, um, the, the entire Malaysia school syllabus. And where did I get this idea from? The strange thing is, I got this idea from the TED Talk. In last year, uh, sometime around uh, February, I, I was watching TV, uh, not, not, sorry, I was watching YouTube, and I saw this TED Talk about the Khan Academy, or Salman Khan. And when I watched this video, and then I, 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 I was like, wow, we really need to bring what the Khan Academy has done. And so what did the Khan Academy do? They basically put the entire religious school system, I, not religious school system, they put the entire American school syllabus online. And so that's what we're doing here in Malaysia today. We are putting the entire religious school syllabus online. Everything from science, maths, physics, biology, chemistry, languages, English, Bahasa, we'll be creating uh, soft skills videos, and that's why I'm so happy to some of the people here today, actually. Uh, we're doing all this and giving it away to every Malaysian child for free. Okay? And, but it's not just videos, it's also exercises, so you know, we are we're putting, you know those exercise things you find in MPA popular and stuff? They're not the cheapest thing, especially if you're not well to do. So we're putting all those online, online versions for free as well, for everybody to use. And then we track every student's performance. And but what really truly excites us is that we are creating, actually probably the world's, the world's first social media platform specific for education. So what does this mean? This means that if, let's say John, he goes to school, he gets lost. Right? He gets lost because you know, the, the teacher is pregnant, and she's pregnant every year, <laughs> doesn't come to school, and it happens a lot. Uh, or, you know, whatever. And so if John goes to school, he gets lost. Never mind. Now he comes back to it, watches the videos, does the exercises, and if he's still lost, never mind. Because he is connected to our social media platform. And so what is the social media platform? You can ask a question, and volunteers, like you and me, who can state this update. How many of you are on Facebook? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. All of you are on Facebook. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Even the older ones are on Facebook. Okay, so we're on Facebook. And what sort of status updates do you get? Your friends getting married, or your friend's birthday, you know, whatever. Your friend gave birth, whatever. Right? So you get all these status updates. But this time, instead of getting status updates and your friend getting married, you get a status update saying, John of Patalik Jaya is having a problem with fractions. Would you like to help out? Yes or no? So if you click, well, click on the answer. If you click yes, you'll be brought to a common screen whereby it's a marriage of Facebook chat, Skype, and how many of you have used draw something? Okay, most people. Okay, well, uh, basically draw something. So we brought to a common screen whereby it's a marriage of Facebook chat, Skype, and draw something. And what happens is this is free tuition for every Malaysian child powered by the Malaysian community. People like you, people like me, an engineer Turanganu. Okay, um, can, I, I, all the guest engineers from Turanganu can help a form 5 student understand chemistry. A doctor can help a form 4 biology student understand biology. The head of the London School of Economics, his name is Danny. Something. Sorry, Danny. You don't know me. But you know, this is Malaysian. Okay, the head of the school of economics is in Malaysia. Can you imagine that he is helping a form five student understand economics? So really, what we are doing here is that now because in Malaysia we have we have two few teachers, we really have two few teachers. So 
the tool teaches this more of. By this, not this time, but the first quarter of next year, and we're, and we're working really hard on this, on the first quarter of next year, there'll be this many teachers. Why? Because we make it tremendously easy for any student to ask any question and for you to help. Because let me ask you this. Right now, right, to help the student understand the subject, how difficult is it? I mean, first you have to jump to your car, you have to drive all the way to wherever this student is, and then after that you have to get off, you help them for one hour, and then go back home. Right? So it takes hours and a lot of effort, and really who has that much time? But now, by the first quarter of next year, everything is easy, everything is online, all you need to do is to click a button that says, yes, I want to help. And what happens is you become a teacher, and you, that's right, you, you will be able to change someone's life. Because John needs people like you. Now, it's, 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 this is a very interesting journey because um, we're, we're talking about patterns here. And what happens is you notice that in Malaysia we have this pattern of, uh, of substandard education. And you know, when I, when I told my friends in the past that, you know, look, I really want to change Malaysian education. Now they're telling the story of God. And then they look at me, and you know, I can't keep my room clean. My room is clean. They stop all the place. And they look at me and say, you change Malaysian education? And they, they laugh. Oh, you can laugh. <laughs> and, 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 and here's the thing, I think if there is a message that I want to send to you is this. That, you see, our country has a lot of challenges. I mean, we have a lot of problems. I mean, Malaysia is really beautiful, but you know, we have a lot of challenges. And you know what? Changing the education system, changing healthcare, changing anything, even changing the portable worlds in Malaysia, it's, it sounds impossible. It really does. It sounds impossible. But every day that we exist in every nation, we hope to prove that it is not impossible. That if you want to change a very entrenched pattern, either within, uh, within society or within government, within the private sector, you can. I don't care what changes you want to make. Whether it's in education, whether it's in healthcare, whether it is in, in, in it doesn't matter. The message really here that I'm trying to send is you can make that change. And all it takes is a great idea, like, well, I guess that's why we're here in that you know, is, is uh, a great idea and that determination to actually make it happen. So, how many of you think it's actually a good idea? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Now, um, I'm going to close off. And if I say something, Actually, you guys can totally make a big difference in Malaysian education today. Today. Because we actually need a lot of volunteers. We need a lot of help. Uh, we need people to actually teach for us, translate content for us. So if you want to make a difference to education in Malaysia, <laughs> please message us, you know, look at us at our education at and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how we can actually collaborate to make uh, education better in Malaysia. And how many of you use, use uh, tablets? How many of you have tablets or smartphone if you now? Fantastic. Go to facebook.com, search for Education Malaysia, like us and drop us a message. Right, guys, okay, so thank you very much for having me here. Just to 